Hello everybody, welcome to Ninth Ghost Legion, uh, Star Citizen Organization. Um, I am General Apocalypse of the Ninth, and today I'm going to be sharing some details about how to, or how Ninth, uh, is going to be securing our trade lanes. Uh, we do know traders are everything to us. When I say everything, everything. They uh, bring in the money, they keep the fleet strong, they keep our military fueled, uh, weapons, ships, the whole bit. And <clears throat> goals for us as a fleet is to own our own mining platforms, our own mining ships and all that stuff. Well, those things need resources. And our traders are going to be the ones feeding those resources. <clears throat> so I'm going to start by going through some scenarios of how things can go wrong quickly and how we will combat them on the route. First plan is to our new recruits. When we get a new recruit in, we will give them a freelancer and they will trade. They will do trade runs. They will have to get a certain amount of uh, money into the bank. Um, this is like a preliminary round for these guys to get in, learn our systems, get on the trader outs with all of us and learn what to trade, where to go, where's the best stuff to make the most money and resources of course for our platforms. Well, <clears throat> once they do trade for a while, we'll say, you know, maybe a few weeks, a month, and once they're in it, then they will be upgraded to a Hornet and which will be given by the fleet to them and they will be able to uh, join the military at that time. See, this is, a, this is a kind of a thing we're doing to where you get in, you learn, uh, you have something to look forward to after you get your trader to get the brand new Hornet to help us defend the trade lanes and defend our uh, fleets. Today, I'm gonna talk about uh, platoons, okay? How we're gonna do platoons for our traders, okay? Say I have my uh, Bay New Merchantman, okay, and I'm going out and I got some really expensive uh, resources heading to the platform. Well, we're going to need support. Uh, Bay News and freelancers of that nature, you know, are strict traders, and so they're going to need be, be defended. Well, this is what we're going to implying. Every trade, uh, every fleet of trade will have a support group. This support group will deal with hornets, of course, uh, to follow the group through the trade lanes. Um, like you see in front of me, the Super Hornet uh, was going to be a major asset to us. We have a fleet of these already. And <clears throat> trackers. And we'll go over here and look at the tracker. I plan on making um, trackers on every fleet to where they will scout ahead and, uh, you know, just uh, scout ahead uh, to tell the fleet behind them who, what's in there, what's going on. And what's going to happen is once we start getting popular and bigger, making more enemies, making more friends, well, our trade lanes are going to get really crowded. And <clears throat> we plan on having stationed at each jump point a small platoon of maybe a constellation and a couple of hornets just to secure those trade uh, points, okay? And then on the routes, we will have a, a, a tracker and a hornet with the, uh, the one trade. Uh, so if you have one bandu going out, they come with two hornets always. Um, if you have more than, if we have a train of us, then we'll have a small little fleet that's doing the, the runs with us. The traders, will be paying for the Hornets fuel and the Hornets um, any ammunition missiles they have to use on the route by the end of the run. So say we, we are going, hey, we're trading for an hour, two hours. We'll keep tabs of what is being spent through our, uh, our Hornets because they're doing a luxury for the trades to follow them to keep them secure. So it's up to the traders to treat our uh, military right. You know, it's only fair for them to be paying if they're securing. So that's, um, that's that and how we are going to do constellations and hornets throughout the range, okay? So if any pirates, any hostile uh, alliances come in, we were able to get those traders past the conflict area and leave people in that sector to deal with the uh, enemy. 
in the uh, <clears throat> walk down here. And then ghosts, our ghosts will be also our sitting behind our fleets to uh, you know be a surprise attack. They are going to uh, be very vital also, just like the tracker. I mean, you know, these are two ships that have a very great specialties. Uh, one's for tracking, and one is for, of course, stealth. And so if we have a couple of stealths behind us, we have the fleet of uh, the merchantmen's and then the hornets around them, well, they're going to be seen really easy. And uh, well, as soon as the enemy gets in the sector, they'll say, okay, I see one Bainu and with two hornets that's going after them. Well, they don't know that there's a tracker in front and there's a couple of ghosts in the back also. Um, are we going to... Uh, let's see, what else? Since... Da -da -da -da. Okay, the traders. And then around our platforms, uh, we will have stationed our main force. We will have our Idrises, our capital ships, uh, everything of that nature, almost like a home base, a hub uh, to defend those platforms uh, because those are going to be hot, hot commodities. So people are going to be wanting to take it out because that's our money uh, income and it's feeding our war machine. And so. They it, they will be fully geared out. We have a bump. We already have um, six or seven, I think, Iteruses, uh, a few M's, and they will be geared out with uh, Hornets, um, Super Hornets in them to where at any given moment we can call in somebody from the fleet to jump on one of the guys' Iteruses and jump in a Hornet to help, um, to help us, to help us defend. Uh, I'm very, very adamant about our industry. Um, this is, I played freelancer for many years, and during freelancer, we owned, 9th Infantry owned uh, a really lucrative trade lane. Uh, it was a diamond run. It was called the diamond run. And we, we got so popular that daily we were getting raided. I mean, you would even just jump on. They would see you jump on, and we would be getting raided. And so that's how we combated it. We would get our Havocs. Back then it was like the, the equivalent of a Hornet, and Freelancer was called the Havoc. And we would uh, get our Havocs around our profiteers, and we would do trade runs all day and make millions of dollars while our Havocs would defend, and they would split off while our trader was able to keep on going going, you know, on its track while he was messing with the pirates. And so that means that in Star Citizen, if that happens, then the next sector will have its own platoon to where they can, if, if our hornets have to take off and defend in one sector, one soon as that trader goes through the, another jump point, there's an, also another set of uh, crew that can take over that that area that run to the next jump point and to the next to the next that's how we're going to plan it out scatter a bunch of fleets a bunch of little small platoons across the trade lane to help um, we always move as a group um, this is going to be very hostile again referring back to freelancer very hostile we were uh, the target of many of alliances who didn't like us granted we had a very big alliance underneath our belt too so it was always constant war it was fun so much fun and this way, I think this kind of analogy or uh, decision to have all of our fleets go as groups with, uh, with certain ships to make us expand, to make us uh, awesome. We'll go ahead and look at the Cutlass over here. Cutlasses will also be um, a part of our defending fleets. These are uh, more of our tanks and... Um, yeah, just more of a tanky, tanky kind of a ship. That's how I look at it, at least. And so they will be also running around with us. Um, that's all I really wanted to just discuss today was how we're how a kind of a plan of what the Ninth Ghost Legion will be doing to secure our trade lanes. Of course, you got the bad boy constellation. You know, that's going to be um, very important. Also, constellations will be at every sector. Uh, these are great little smaller battleships, or you know, uh, to help defend um, and support the trade lanes and support the hornets, uh, if need be, if some a bigger ship comes in or something of that nature. Um, so that's pretty much it. I uh, just wanted to kind of just give you guys a glimpse of what we are as a fleet. Uh, we've been making videos. 
um, almost every week of just little snippets of what we're doing and like military trading industry bounty hunting we have a whole bounty hunting uh, system that we're going to be putting into effect uh, very cool stuff um, very cool and so just wanted to share the love and please uh, check out ninth ghost legion on the uh, RSI website and check out ninthinfantrygaming.com. This is our main hub, our main website. And um, again, this is General Apocalypse of the Ninth Infantry. And everybody have a great day, and I'll see you next week.